Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, February 10th, 2012. You're on again, off again. Greek rescue package is off again. Expect to see the value of your IRA or 401k diminish today because of what's going on in Athens. The leader of a small Greek party said that his membership as part of the coalition government will not be able to support the recent round of austerity measures in a vote on Sunday, even though he supported it yesterday. The right-wing LAOS party said this morning they are going to vote against it. They only have 16 members of the Greek parliament, but apparently they're part of a broader coalition and could affect the entire outcome. The leader of the party said, of course, we don't want to be outside the European Union, but we also don't want to be under the German jackboot. I'm very irritated like all Greeks. They've stolen our pride. I'm humiliated. I cannot allow this even if I have to starve. Well, according to the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, Jean-Claude Juncker, he said that Greece may end up starving if they don't turn their budget cuts into law. He said all we keep hearing are promises, 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 and there are no implementation measures. Too bad they just can't be cut loose and they're not uh, able to be done so because they're part of this broader confederacy, which is the EU. The previously untouched town of Aleppo, Syria, a major economic hub on par with Damascus, was hit by twin explosions today in security compounds, killing at least 25 people and wounding 200. Activists are saying that this is probably due to an intentional explosion set up by the government to discredit the opposition. The former insurance commissioner of New York State, Jim Rinn, has left the job of superintendent and is moving to the law firm of Goldman Segala. Mr. Rinn was the last insurance superintendent in New York State until the department merged with the New York State Department of Banking to form the new Department of Financial Services. The head of IOPA, which is the European regulatory uh, group for insurance, Gabriel Bernardino, said today that if Solvency II is delayed, you might as well kiss it goodbye, because if it's delayed, countries are going to develop their own national insurance and reinsurance regulatory schemes, and there's not going to be any going back. He may be correct on that. The CEO of Chart has warned that the 2008-2009 financial crisis might only be dress rehearsals for what's to come. This is according to CEO Peter Hancock. He's the former J.P. Morgan CFO. He said that despite the focus of regulators and moves to deleverage the banking sector, behavior hadn't been reined in sufficiently to prevent a repeat performance. He should know. He's from the banking industry. Axis CEO John Charman, who's going to retire in two years in a conference call with the analysts yesterday, disparaged the Lloyds marketplace for the extent to which its managing agents are beholden to central powers. Uh, Mr. Charman said that he'd spent 30 years trying to get out of Lloyds and that it's a mutualized society with broad powers and that if you go into it, you have to go in with your eyes open. He said that so long as he is CEO of Axis, they will never go into Lloyds. The hit parade continues. Montpelier Re announced the loss of $115 million for all of 2011. Uh, Endurance came in with a loss of $94 million for all of 2011. And XL came in with a loss of $475 million for all of 2011. That's the news for today. For the first time in many, many months, there is no football in the United States this weekend. What will people do? We'll see you Monday.